What is up guys, welcome back to Periodic Surf Co. Now, my name is Jordan, this is my workshop, and well, obviously, this is the Periodic Surf Co. channel. Now, this video is more of a quick update to show you off the new things that we've been working on, because we have been really, really busy. So for the last two weeks, we have had nine boards on the go at a single time. Now I can tell you, that was rough. Good fun, but rough. Now we have two new boards which we have been uh, well, r and and have now been launched to the range of kits and they're ones that we're really excited about. So the first one that we're looking at here is a, uh, well, our take on a Mini Simmons. So as you can see, it's got a really flat rocker line. It's short at 5.5, five. it's 23 inches wide and uh, it's fat. Now one big improvement we made on this board is this nose block. Now, what we were finding with the rail systems on these boards is that the steaming process was a little bit daunting for new woodworkers. So what we have done is we shortened the rails, we shortened the spine just a hair, and what we have now is this nose block which indexes onto the spine and the rails get terminated into that. So that board is now, uh, well we just released that probably about a week or two ago now, and uh, yeah, it is definitely proving to be quite popular. So we'll be doing a dedicated video on building one of our awesome sims here because it's a fun project. Now, the next one, it's big. Now this one too is about 23 inches wide, 61 liters, 63 liters, fair abouts anyway. And really this board is for the classic nose riding kind of sensation. The board itself has got a little bit of belly into V, but up at that nose in that, that third section, we've also got a spoon concave. And surprisingly, that's not as easy to incorporate into a wooden board as it first sounds, but we got there. Now in our pursuit to make the best wooden surfboard kit there is on the market, we have been doing even more development and it may have almost killed us, but we've got there. Underneath this board is the perfect matched rocker table. So here, it is a click together design. There is no glue. It can just get packed up and put in a drawer when you're done. But what it is, is it's a rocker table that you slot together. It matches the rocker perfectly, but also the concaves. So when it comes to pressing on your bottom skin, all you need to do is apply weight, maybe some straps or some coals around the board with clamps to press it down, and the rocker table will do all of the work for you. Now we've also improved the assembly process even further for those who have limited tool sets. So with the rail sections, when they used to come full length, it was kind of a hindrance because it meant that, well, you need to clamp it on all in one go. So what we've come up with is a segmented section. So now you can apply rails in sections, which means you can take your time, you can get it perfect, and only need about eight clamps. Now the rails themselves, they index together with a nice little half moon like this, and that means that you can rotate them to match the rocker of the board as needed. So super awesome upgrade for those that haven't got, let's just say, boxes and boxes of clamps. Now, one thing that people don't necessarily realize about Periodic Surf Co is that it is really a one-man shop. I am the only full-time person that is here and I handle all of the designs, the manufacturing, sales channels, distribution, and it's a lot of work. The amount that I go into of being in-house even extends into things like using our own plotter to do the paper templates. I design all of them, I modify them, I print them. Once I have designed and modified the actual kits, we then take it over here to the laser cutter, pull material off this shelf, load it into this laser, and what we get left with are these laser cut frame kits, which we package, we assign the correct hardware to go with it, and then we put them into boxes. Now, while all of that is going on, we are also working on improvements on more prototypes, developing different systems, and just trying to really make the best hollow core wooden surfboard kit that is on the market. Now, for those that don't know 
My background was as a furniture maker in this very building, in fact. Now, December of 2017, I cut the end of my finger off working on the last job of the year just before Christmas, and that sucked. It meant losing quite a bit of work from that because I just couldn't work. And when I did get back to work, I had this big building, which we are in, as you can see, which had just accumulated heaps of debt from not being in it. Now, I tried for another nine months of just getting any job I could to just catch up, but it was hard work. So we closed the doors to the furniture and we started something new, and that was building hollow core wooden surfboards. So I built my first wooden SUP when I was, I think, 18, and immediately after that came a shortboard. At that time, I didn't have any way of getting a machine that was capable of doing production work, so I kept it as a hobby, but always thought, there is so much enjoyment in building this board and I can see ways of making it easy. So when I had this building locked into my name that was gonna cost me money regardless, that's when this venture came up. And I've gotta to say to everyone that has come on board since November last year, thank you because it has been an awesome journey. I've enjoyed every minute of it. While it has been really challenging, I wouldn't change anything for it. So thank you for everyone who is getting on board. Uh, more build series will be coming on to video soon. Uh, we have kind of finalized everything now, so I'm gonna have a bit more time to actually spend on building, filming, getting some cool stuff happening. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to more board build. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. But like always, thanks for watching. Click the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and also click that subscribe button. See you in the next video.